Hi, my name is Laura. I've been playing board games and video games for years, but most notably I'm known as Cathelia in World of Warcraft, where I'm a recruitment officer of the 25-man weekend raiding guild Ignis Arom Probat of the Malgana server. We're currently ranked number 11th in the world for a two-night raiding schedule. Today I'm reviewing the game Armis, which is kind of a cross between chess, risk, and checkers. It's a pretty challenging game, but it's also really dynamic um, with unlimited possibilities, which allows for a lot of gameplay and really exercises your critical thinking and analytical skills. So I played my game using the Patriot setup. It was the setup I had used for my most recent game, so I was able to use the recent setup option to put the pieces in place, um, which was kind of nice. It saved me a little bit of time. Um, as far as I can tell, the color choice doesn't really matter. I just happen to go with green this time. So my first two moves kind of mirrored the moves of the computer, if you can really call it mirroring, since as you can see, the two bodies of water in the middle of the board change your gameplay and, um, and your movable space. Um, so anyway, we both move our first set of Marines first, and then we move our Vice President to back up our Marines, um, and those get moved closer to the larger um, body of water. And the computer moves the second set of Marines. Um, I found it really helpful being able to see where my pieces could move with the red shading of the squares. I kind of wish in the beginning while you're still learning the game that there was like a beginner setting that also allowed you to click the other players pieces and see the red shading as well. Um, I think it would really make the learning curve a little less steep and really give you a good idea of how the pieces move without spending a lot of time reading the manual. Um, so anyway, throughout the video, you'll see me click on pieces to figure out my next move. Um, this particular move took me a long time to decide on because I was still kind of thinking through my strategy and really agonizing on what piece to move. Um, and as it turns out, this is actually a pivotal moment for me in the game, even if I didn't realize it at the time. So I do finally make a decision. <laughs> and I end up moving my other set of Marines um, just ahead of my jet. The computer then decides to move its president up. And I move my marine up as well, um, staying out of range of the computer's marines because I'm not entirely sure at this point what they're going to do um, with the marines. And the marines, the computer's marine, marines decide to move and take my um, mover. I decide to move my Marines um, closer uh, into a position where I could capture the Vice President, even though um, this, I, I, this would result in getting my Marines captured by the computer's President. However, I intentionally made this move to draw the President away from the flag. So as I thought, the computer takes my Marines uh, with its President. And my next move um, with my vice president is also intended to draw out the computer's marines so that my remaining marines could work their way to the flag unhindered. And as you can see, the computer's marines do take my vice president like I thought.
So for my move, I take the computer's mover, and then um, the computer's marines capture my army, and my marines do the same with the computer's army. Again, I'm mirroring the actions of the computer at this point. However, the computer's uh, marines are one step behind me right now um, because I didn't move my president out from my flag. I left it there to protect my flag. So um, they have to take my president first while I am able to just go straight in and take their reserves. And, um, and there we go. I was able to uh, capture the flag before the computer did. Even though the game is visually simplistic, the gameplay more than makes up for that. In the game I just played, I didn't even use all of my pieces, but it's really interesting seeing all the different ways the pieces can move, and I can definitely see how the same game could be played a thousand different ways depending on your particular playstyle. So thanks for watching. If you're interested in playing, please visit armistgame.com and try it out.